What makes KBS special is actually the lands of KBS. Faculty and researchers who come here, the majority, but not all of their work, is done here on site. And that's partly what brings people, is because we have that potential. Of the 3,000 or so acres that are here at KBS, about a third of it's in agricultural lands. M much of that is used for research. But we also have woodlands and forests and lakes and ponds and streams and one of the Recent acquisitions or gifts to KBS of the Lux Arbor Reserve gave us more access to those aquatic habitats, which is really important for that part of our research portfolio. If someone never had heard or has no idea what Lux Arbor is about, I would sum up as being one of the most diverse pieces of property in southern Michigan. There's probably not too many properties, especially in southern Michigan this size, that can offer as much as far as our natural resources and diversity. I coordinate the experimental pond facility out here. It's a facility that's been uh, part of the Kellogg Biological Station since the early 1970s when it was constructed. It's uh, a great facility to do experimental work on aquatic communities and aquatic ecosystems. Uh, the ponds you can see down below here, they're 18 ponds. They're like Think of them as big test tubes outside to do experiments. Uh, big enough so that you can really study the things that go on in nature, but not so big that you can't manage them and manipulate them. So you know, they're, so they're a nice scale between natural lakes, which we have a whole lot in this area, and things like uh, cattle tanks or smaller things that we that also we do a lot of experiments in. Biodiversity loss is probably one of the biggest conservation threats today. We're losing species locally. Um, a lot of the prairie species that used to be abundant here in Michigan are, are virtually absent from a lot of our landscapes. And so one way to, to kind of battle that problem is through restoration. We are restoring areas that used to be agricultural land back into native prairies. We're using this experiment right now to ask questions about how our diversity treatments affect community assembly, how they affect what establishes these in, in these communities, how they affect restoration success. But in the future, because this experiment will go on for decades and decades hopefully, we can start to use these experiments to ask questions about evolution too.